Hello and welcome to FC365 TV. I'm Joe Snow and I'm going to demonstrate how to install iOS 7.1 on keep calm on an iPod first generation. Now you probably know that iPod first generation, iPod Touch first generation is the very first iPod Touch created by Apple and for the moment officially it only supports iOS 3.1.3 3, uh, 3 .1 .3, uh, which is dreadful and which uh, doesn't allow you to um, install any application and which looks like the hell. And today I'm going to install uh, it probably sounds weird and impossible, but I'm going to install iOS 7.1 on this very, very, very old uh, 2007 device, or 2006, by the way. Okay, I'm going to use White Door iPod Touch 1, but this all also works for uh, iPhone 2G, iPhone 3G, 3GS, iPhone first generation and so on, but you just have to um, to go to White Door uh, website. I'm gonna put a link in the description. Uh, okay. First of all, what you need? You need Red Snow, but not the latest version of Red Snow because the uh, latest version of Red Snow has a USB communication error on um, Windows. Uh, so I'm go I'm going to open Red Snow 14. Point whatever. 0.9.14 and I'm gonna connect my um, my iPod touch first generation uh, I got my iPod uh, first generation from a hobbyist from a collector of uh, old iOS devices and he uh, gave me this uh, old collection piece for uh, 100 bucks it's a very rare piece nowadays if you have one do not sell it and do not toast it away because it's a uh, very uh, expensive one nowadays because it's the very first iPod created by um, touch created by Apple and yeah I'm gonna put it in a DCU mode oops I ended up in uh, recovery just a second the uh, DCU procedure is the same as on newer devices you just have to press the power button which is not located on the right it's located on the left on the top of the phone and the home button uh, simultaneously and after that you release the power button and continuously press home button and wait for it to show the uh, DFU device I'm gonna come back when it uh, basically runs Okay, there we go, uh, iPhone, iPod first generation in DFU mode. If you end up in WTF mode, WTF mode, then you have to restart your phone and uh, do the same procedure because even if it looks the same, the black screen, DFU and WTF mode are not the same and it will fail. You have to go to extras after that and pound the DFU mode of uh, DFU mode of this um, of this device. Okay, I pounded the DFU mode. You can close the um, the red snow. I'm gonna go. I'm going to go ahead into the um, iTunes. Okay, it found my device and press Shift and restore iPod. Make sure your iPod is in DFU mode, pounded, and select the white door um, Air 71 ITSW and wait for it to restore it will extract fastly and you can start your phone will show a white screen and will uh, then go to the Apple logo and yeah it's the old Apple logo and will uh, basically start the restore process okay wait Apple logo The spinning well uh, on the uh, bottom of the phone and now the uh, progress bar the old progress bar with round corners yeah it's basically very great we can basically do this um, this update even if it's, it's not, even if it's not officially sorry even if it's not officially supported by uh, Apple this one is not an official firmware as you probably figure out it's a uh, custom-made firmware but uh, the uh, 
the actual phone restores and this is very great we can we can do it we can give a, uh, a new chance to the life of uh, our um, old iPod and we can also install applications which is very good the actual restore process won't take too much but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put pause but um, after the phone the phone after the iPod restore it successfully I'm gonna come back and I also I'm also going to put a proof I'm gonna take a uh, footage of this um, iPod in order for you to see that um, even if it sounds crazy and impossible the actual restore to iOS 7.1 is real on this very old piece of um, device see you then okay the uh, restore has finished and so uh, I'm going to make a uh, video about it so let's go yeah another thing when you first start the uh, iOS 7.1 on this device it will show you the iTunes logo and slide to unlock you connect it to your iTunes and it will basically show this thing you click continue and you will be brought to the springboard now let's see the springboard by the way okay I'm going to be back. It will still show 3.1.3 because the uh, IPSW is modified to show this one in order to get bloobs. But um, let's see how it looks. Okay, guys, this is the iPod first generation device, as you can see in there. Uh, very, very uh, strange. Okay, the, uh, the black one. And it's running iOS 7.1.3. One and there we go and let me slide to unlock it and as you can see it's basically running on uh, on the latest version of um, iOS 7 and also you got Cydia uh, sorry for the um, this thing being very uh, likely okay and it also has this thing here but I don't know why it doesn't start right now but if you go to the uh, applications you can you can fairly see that um, the actual applications are very good you can also open settings and you'll see is the same layout uh, as on the um, as on the latest version there you go and also you can control everything from here let me open calculator for example it's the if the actual um, the music is the actual 7.1 which is terrible on this device you can only install three point i don't know why okay uh let me go to brightness to change a little bit the brightness of the uh device sorry okay uh the brightness i don't know where is the brightness oh yeah here sorry Okay, so you can barely see uh, everything better. Uh, the calendar, for example. The same as on uh, 7.1. The uh, notes application, let's see how it looks. Great. We can create new notes and also the store. Okay, and whatever the uh, the clock. YouTube. Mail. Uh, this touch screen is very unresponsive, by the way. It's not uh, uh, due, due to the uh, firmware, it's due to the, um, the phone itself, the uh, iPod itself. It has some uh, touch screen and LCD problems. 
Okay, by the way. The uh, lock screen looks very great. Uh, we don't have that thing here. I don't know why. Probably I deactivated it somehow. Also, when you go to the settings, wait a little bit. Okay. You've got some white door settings and it's initializing. Okay, advanced and kill frozen applications. You can do this one too. Very great, in my uh, opinion. Yeah, you can do whatever with the phone. As um, you can also see the, the picture is here. The same as... Uh, ah, this is basically how it looks when you first need to open the, um, the iTunes. It will show this. You connect it to iTunes and the phone will get to the springboard. Okay, so yeah, this is basically it. It's a combination between between uh, iOS 3. Point whatever and iOS 7.1. Point whatever, but I think it's very great and it's really worth the um, the time you lost on uh, on upgrading to this version. Okay, so let's close the uh, this one and let's turn off the phone. Okay, I got in the safe mode. Go, going to restart. Okay, or restart, I don't know. Well, whatever. That's because I installed some CDA tweaks and um, that CDA tweaks uh, doesn't work too, uh, too good on this uh, version. But yeah, this is basically it. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy this, um, this video and this firmware. Goodbye.